cupcake so, kitchen. Be respectful. Whenever you're ready. Okay. Have you ever stopped and thought, wow, I wish I could design a cupcake that was just for me? Of course you have. To quote Steve Jobs, people don't know what they want until you show them. That's why we're here today with the Cupcake Kitchen, which is the subway for cupcakes. Now, we offer our customers hundreds of different combinations of cake, frosting, and toppings for their custom creation. Howard? Uh, it's not. Oh, it's not, though. No. Use the wrong. Okay. We want our customers to feel welcome as soon as they walk in the door. The goal is for us to provide a very unique experience for them by providing them complete creative control over their creation. Our target market is for parents with children, especially the mothers. We would also be able to target people in the mall because that's where we would like to open our business and people who are on their lunch break if they work at the mall, they can go in and they can do their cupcake. We also would cater events like weddings, birthdays, graduation parties, and like business events. For business events, we could even take the logo for the business and be able to put it on a decorative piece for the cupcake and have it be on the cupcake itself. And for example, with what we'd be doing with our cupcakes is, if you came in, you would be able to pick out your flavor cupcake, say you wanted a chocolate cupcake but you wanted to make it not so sugary and everything, you'd be able to have fruit on top, or if you wanted some like mint flavoring, like peppermint sprinkles, cookies, and slowly we'd even be able to step away from straight dessert cupcakes. We'd be able to do breakfast with eggs and hash browns and biscuits and pancakes and be able to like put granola bars on the top of that and even dinner because me personally I have done like using a cupcake pan to do like meatloaf with mashed potatoes and I use bacon on top of mine so you're able to step away more from what people think is the traditional cupcake and that could even bring in more people because I have never heard of anyone doing a dinner cupcake that's not straight what you think of. So the average customized cupcake will typically cost around $2.50. So with our production costs of $0.83, cents, we can make a profit of $1.67 with each cupcake. The starting cost for the first month should be about $34,500. And that includes like large ovens, the curator, and also like any other necessary baking supplies we need. And after that, it should be about $1,900,000. Now, it's obvious that this idea will revolutionize the baking industry, and we look forward to seeing what you design in our shop next time you stop by. How will people that know you exist? We will be able to do Facebook pages, Twitter, Instagram. We will be able to reach out to our demographic of parents between the ages of 20 and 40 to get them in the store with their children so that they would be able to go experience what it's like to be able to make your own creation that they know they like. We could also do flyers and have brochures put in like and around the mall because that's where we'll be located and like get other businesses to pull our brochures. Did you include anything in your startup costs for those promotional materials? No, we did not. Okay. Yes. Twice now you've mentioned being in the mall. Can you tell me more about why you made that decision? Being in a mall would allow others who are just looking for a snack because I know when I go shopping I do get hungry and I don't want the traditional pretzel and with like chocolate sauce or when I'm walking around the mall. It would be interesting to have something different than what most people think would be in a mall. What I 
I think about uh, having it in a mall is that yeah, we're mainly focused on uh, kids and the parents, right? So people make, um, I mean, there's people making apps for iPhones and everything, and all these kids are buying the apps. I'm like, that spreads like wildfires. You know, one one kid's got a fun game or something they like, and then the next kid, then the next ten, you know, ten friends tell them, tell uh, their ten friends. So. We think having in a mall where everybody walks by stores and everything, like an outlet mall. Um, we definitely think that uh, having people walk by as frequently as they do in malls, we think that would be good, uh, you know, for getting our name out there. And um, especially for like the younger, you know, teenagers or even kids themselves, you know. We think that um, something simple is just getting your name out and uh, somewhere where everybody is, that we think that that would uh, spread pretty fast. To get the name out quicker. I have two questions. Uh, you mentioned that uh, your startup capital is like thirty-four thousand five hundred dollars. And uh, question number one is about the how are you going to raise this capital? And two is about the do you have to know the how many cupcakes do you need to sell in order to break even on this? Any ballpark figures? Um, well, in order to figure out, we have the price of the cupcakes, which is I think was only. Yep, it was 250. So we'd have to divide our total cost for everything. We'd have to divide that by the cost of uh, the product itself. Um, but other than that, I think, um, you know. Are you going to pay yourself? Yeah, we, I mean, I'm assuming that's how we would probably start off doing that. Um, With, to get the money, we could ask for, like, my grandma is part of a volunteer group and they donate to things all the time so we can get people like that to help donate for the startup for the business. Okay. Who are your competitors? I uh, was searching today um, and it looked like uh, I found I found some reviews of places um, and there's it seems like there's only one or two around here and I mean, I'm talking like 15 mile radius. So it's uh, the competition I don't think um, is very, we don't have very much competition because what we offer isn't like any other um, place that sells strictly cupcakes. It's just, it's basically just bakeries selling, you know, baked goods, but none of them have the uh, variety that we do. You know, we You're gonna locate in a specific mall, is that right? Uh, yeah, the Westwood Mall, I think it is. So if I'm in Westwood Mall and I want to do something fun with my kid, what else could I do besides go make cupcakes that would be comparable, fun, interesting? As far as what? Like, anyway. I'm just asking, what what competitors do you have in the mall oh, for, um, for people's uh, time? I don't know. Just like, uh, well, I do. Um, like stores like Toys R Us, like stores like that, just like kids' stores, you know. Um, I think, like, what she was saying, um, you know, the only other thing that sells uh, food there is like a it's like a pretzel vendor, so that would uh, that would uh, bring in a little bit more variety, you know. So not everyone just has to select, you know, something from the pretzel store. Uh, what mall did you say you were going to? Westwood. Westwood. Why Westwood? Uh, uh, it brings in quite a bit of people. I would say okay. it's a pretty uh, popular place. All right. Yeah, all the big stores like I know a lot of people go to like J C Penney's and Ella Beerman. And then you even get, like if people are at Walmart and they come in, they'll be able to get it. Thank you. Any other questions? Very good.